The device attached to this walker is called a wheelie pod. I have a dear and elderly photography friend who has reduced mobility and an essential tremor. I designed the wheelie pod to help Robin get out in the outdoors and enjoy her love of creative photography in places that have wheelchair or walking frame access such as here at Coolanbung Reserve in the heart of Port Macquarie. The wheelie pod is made of timber and it attaches to the walking frame with a single lever bolt. The timber is Australian spotted gum. I chose that because of its durability and its hardness. The wheelie pod also uses parts from a discarded tripod. The column of the tripod gives the wheelie pod a degree of vertical movement locks with a collar there and the wheelie pod also has a hinge mechanism so that you can tip it on its side if you need to do so to get a portrait orientation for your photographs as opposed to a landscape one. When the wheelie pod is to be used in the tilted position you simply pull this lever down which disengages the locking block and tilt the wheelie pod on its side. When you move the wheelie pod back to the vertical position, opposing magnets push this block back into position to lock it once again, so you don't have to remember to re-lock it. It can't tilt while ever the block is there. This fluid video head is really overkill for the wheelie pod, but it's one that I've had for many years and I'm using it to test the prototype. My friend Robin has ordered a smaller video head to fit on here, which will more than adequately suit the application. The walking frame has space under the seat for some photographic gear and a snack. And the complete system of the walking frame, plus the wheelie pod, makes an ideal albeit slightly cramped mobile resting area for a weary photographer. <sighs> After a five minute power nap, I'm ready to get up and get into it again. There are photographs to be made. Before the wheelie pod, my friend Robin used to bring her walker to places like this along with a camera bag, a tripod and some other equipment. Needless to say, this was not that convenient for an octogenarian. The wheelie pod is very stable, particularly with its wheels locked. But if the photographer is still not very steady of hand, it's a simple matter to attach a remote control to the camera to operate the shutter. This particular prototype of the wheelie pod is now the property of the Port Macquarie Photographic Club and the inaugural custodian is life member 005. So that concludes my little demonstration this morning. It'll be great if this provides food for thought for others men's sheds around Australia might like to take this idea and run with it and improve upon it. It wouldn't be a difficult matter, for example, to modify the wheelie pod so that it could be attached to a wheelchair. Until next time, have fun with your photography and remember, if it moves you, shoot it.